That report out on Friday showing food at home prices increased by 11.9 percent year over year. Joining us right now to talk about what this means for you at the grocery store register and what's to come is Stu Leonard. Stu Leonard Jr., who's morning. the president and CEO of Stu Leonard's. And Stu, it's good to see you again. Um, I'm sure Thank the 11. I'm sure the 11.9 percent increase didn't come as a surprise to you. I, I think people are probably more interested in, in what comes next. What are you seeing just in terms of the prices that you have to pay for food? Well, um, Becky, first of all, I think it's the retailer that, that's important. I mean, because the way I sort of explain it to everybody, it's like like Stu Leonard's, and one of our dairy farmers and the customer are all sitting at a at a restaurant together and the check comes. And what we've done really is just said, hey, why don't we all split it? And that's the way we've approached it. So you haven't seen price increases on everything. We're holding butter. We're holding ground chuck. Just like Costco, we're uh, rotisserie chickens. We're holding the price on that, even though the costs have gone up. But um, today, you can feel it out there from the suppliers uh, that, that their costs have gone up. Just look at the diesel fuel to put in their tractors and their fishing boats. So what, what do they tell you in terms of what to expect, let's say, a month from now, two months from now, as they start laying their contracts out? How, how much more food inflation are we going to be dealing with? Well, I think you're going to see it in, in certain spotty areas, like lobster prices soared the last couple of years, you know, um, to, to record levels that none of our, that we've never seen before, uh, ever. And we're starting to see them come down. We were just in Kansas City with our ranchers out there, and they said they're seeing the beef prices now stabilize. So I think a lot of the numbers you're seeing in the, in the, in, on the news right now are lagging to last month or, or so. And I feel right now the seas are calming a little bit. And, That's and great news. You, I, I think we're at the tip of the, 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 the wave here, and, and it's hopefully going to uh, stabilize or get a little bit better in the future. So that is the best news we've heard all morning. Um, yeah, that, that just, you... I'm just, I'm just telling you from on the floor store here what I feel just talking to suppliers. I don't, I, I can't, I can't argue with all the numbers you're, you're putting out there that the expert economists are talking about, but that's just what we feel uh, ground game here at Stu Leonard. Well, you're on the front lines. You've got a better idea than anybody who's doing this just from an economics point of view. Um, in terms of seeing those higher lobster prices, is there a point where people just say, forget it, this is too expensive, we're not going to buy it anymore? Oh. And are there other items that, that have reached that? Well, you know what we're seeing today is people are buying what they need and not what they want. Um, you know, they're, and they're also very cautious about what they're buying. You're absolutely right. As the price of lobster goes up, they're going to switch over to less expensive. They're going to maybe eat more shrimp, more salmon. But they're going to switch, and and you see that happening uh, in food. Like right now, chicken prices are higher than the the ground beef price, so mm -hmm. it's more expensive to put a chicken breast on the grill than it is a hamburger. Right? That never. I've I've been doing this for fifty years now in our family business, and I've never seen that happen before. So there's Let's do some that. little. Yeah. Go ahead. No, there's some crazy things going on in the markets today that. We've never experienced uh, uh, before. 